I don't want to be a Jew. <laughs> a lot of people get upset and they say that, oh, the body of Christ, with the, the Christian church has replaced the Jews and the Jews are now the white men or the Jews are now the black men or whatever else. Um, you need to consider what the scriptures actually say about the future state of the Jewish people. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, beginning, beginning in verse 14. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews. Okay, in context, we're talking about the Jews. As we continue to verse 15, the Jews here. Who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us, and they please not God, and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to uh, speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved to fill up their sins alway, for the wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. Um, what country out there um, is very much against Christianity? Okay, I mean, you have the Islamic countries and things as well, but that's a whole other issue. But I'm saying uh, the nation of Israel, um, the rabbis and things like that, they spend a lot of their time attacking um, Christians and attacking Jesus Christ, and attacking the New Testament. Um, why? Well, because they're fulfilling the scriptures that, have that are written about them. That's why. A little bookmark fell out here. I have to grab that quick. And what are they doing? Well, they're lining themselves up for the time of Jacob's trouble. And um, just to bring this thing up to date here, over the last couple of days, there has been a lot coming out about Israel. They were hit by a hypersonic missile from Yemen by the Houthi rebels, I think is what it was, or Houthi, or however you say it. And then they retaliated, um, and they uh, ended up doing this whole pager bomb thing, and also radios. And I think the number's up over 5,000 injured or something like this, or whatever else. And I saw that uh, Edward Snowden came out and, and released a statement about this whole thing and and because you know he's former NSA and all that and so he knows about uh, surveillance and wireless type of stuff and things and he said that this attack that Israel did on Hezbollah I think in Lebanon if I remember correctly um, <clears throat> he said this attack it was completely random it focused on you know uh, operatives, you know, guys in Hezbollah, but they were out in public where there are women and children present. And it was done as a way to bring fear to them. And he said it can be called, it can't be called anything else but what it truly is, an act of terrorism. Israel has committed an act of terrorism. And you know what? He's right. Now, I'm a supporter of the Jewish people and uh, I understand the prophecy about the nation of Israel, that they're back in their land again. I fully believe that. Um, I understand how they got back. It was not uh, by Christians or saved people. It was the uh, Rothschild whole thing, and the, they helped to finance it and all, and all the stuff, Balfour Declaration and the um, Herzl, Theodore Herzl or whatever. I understand all that stuff. Okay, so don't write in the comments, you, know, you don't understand the history of it. I understand. But I understand that God brings them back in unbelief, according to e Ezekiel chapter 36. But here's the point. What Israel is doing right now, what the Jewish people are doing, because they're being led astray by their Talmudic, Talmudic rabbis, um, and their, the traditions of men and things, you know, Jesus was going through that in his day, arguing with these Pharisees, and they're saying, why do you transgress the traditions of the elders? And Jesus is saying back to them, uh, why are you against the commandments of God? You make the commandments of God of none effect by your tradition, which ye have delivered. So they are overthrowing the scriptures by their own traditions. And just saying, oh, this is, you know, this is a great thing and whatever else. And, and the Lord's saying, I didn't inspire that. I didn't tell you to say those things. And that's where they're at right now. They have all their traditions of men and they're, doing all sorts of evil things. And to them, they think that they're doing God's service, they're doing these great acts, and they're not. And um, I believe that the Jewish people have a right to their land, completely and totally. But there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. Um, 
right now I'm standing in northern Penobscot County. Okay, the Penobscot Nation, that's an Indian nation, they're up to the north. They have land up there um, over near Baxter State Park. You can look that up. Now, if the Penobscot Nation all of a sudden came and they said, uh, they, you know, they show up, they're out on my driveway or something, and they say, uh, Mr. Denlinger, um, we hate to inform you, but this is our ancestral land, and we would like to have it back. Well, what would be the right way for them to go about doing that? I'm here, I bought this land, I'm working this land, it's my land, according to law. Well, if they want their land back, should they come in here and, and um, kill my wife and my son and start blowing up all my stuff? Uh, no, they should come and they should say, okay, we'll offer money, let's make this thing a peaceable whatever. Uh, that's not what they're doing in Gaza right now. Um, they're just going in there and they're blowing stuff up and you know the soldiers are doing perverted acts to the prisoners and things. I mean, it, it's not a righteous war by any means. And of course the October 7th thing, which is almost exactly a year ago, here in a few weeks it'll be the one year anniversary of that and they're planning more attacks by the way too. I'm sure of that. Um, there's a lot going on if we even make it to October 7th, I don't know. Um, in terms of without other attacks happening over there. We will, um, where I'm at, but um, the whole thing is, what happened on, on October 7th? Well, they allowed an attack to come in as a pretext for war. They stood, da they stood down, the IDF allowed the attack to happen so that they could begin an invasion and start to take land. That's what happened, okay? It's an age-old military tactic, you know, stop deceiving the masses and Oh no, that's not what we did. Yes, it is. Okay, yes, it is. That's what you did. Okay, everybody knows that. And, oh, they still have hostages, so we have to continue to go through and blow up their buildings and get them out of there. And then, you know, some of them are so stupid that they come out and they brag about how wonderful it will be when all the Palestinians are driven out of, you know, Gaza because the beachfronts there are just beautiful and we'll be able to make some really nice buildings. <laughs> you know, just think, think here, people. But what's really going on, okay? Because this is prophecy being fulfilled. And this is where you have to understand this. In the end times, it's the time of Jacob's trouble. And the whole world is going to turn against the nation of Israel and the Jewish people. And it's going to get so desperate. See, right now, in their pride, the Jews are thinking to themselves, we've got this, man. We can, we can go and we'll nuke this nation, nuke that nation, and you know, we'll just do all this stuff. Are they doing it with God's help? No, they're not. They're doing it with their own power, their own strength, like the Pharisees of old. We'll bring in our own righteous system. We'll, we'll yoke up to Rome. We'll go into business with Rome. Yeah, and create the fifth kingdom that Daniel warned about. Um, miry clay and iron mixing together. Miry clay is a reference to the mingled Jews. Um, we call them people you and the Jews popes, or the Pope's Jews, excuse me. Well, to get to the point, I guess, where it could be the Jews' popes, <laughs> um, because the popes love the money. But what I'm trying to say here is, um, that was just my son over there, uh, wondering what's going on. But um, what I'm trying to say is, the uh, whole thing of what they just did with Lebanon and the, you know, Again, we don't really know at this point in time, did they somehow hack into the pager system and cause the lithium batteries to explode? Or there's another theory that they actually actually had taken these pagers, bought them from Taiwan, and put in C4 into these pagers, and then through a front company or whatever else, sold them to Hezbollah. Um, I don't know. But either way, it's not good. <laughs> okay, and you have to be real careful about that stuff. Um, I think about the one story there in the Old Testament where the, you know, the, um, can't think of the daughter's name, was it Dinah or something, I think, and the, the guy goes and he's, you know, rapes her, and then he says, she's going to be my wife, and, and the sons of Jacob, I think it was, they came and, and they said, um, I don't have this as part of my notes, so forgive me for getting it a little bit mixed up, but they basically say, you, you know, you need to be circumcised, and then you can, we'll give our daughters to you, and 
you know, sons and we all make marriages. And they go and they get all circumcised and they're laying there, you know, injured and oh, this, that really hurt and whatever. And then the sons come in and they kill them all. And I think it was Isaac or Jacob, I forget which one, but you can put it in the comments section down below. Um, again, I'm just out here just winging it. I don't have my whole Bible with me. It's just the New Testament and Psalms and Proverbs. But um, the whole thing is then he says, and here's the point, he says, you've made me to stink in the nostrils of the people in the area. Um, you've made me a sort of an accursed thing. I'm not looking too good now with the other people in the land. They, you know, you're making everybody else hate us. Well, that's kind of a prophetic reference to what's going to be in the end times. You know, and you want me to be a Jew. <laughs> All you replacement theology people out there. Oh, Brother Brian, you don't understand. You're a Jew. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a Christian. Uh, I'm, you know, Jews and Gentiles are all one in Christ. Um, the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. They were Jewish disciples. Okay? Uh, we call ourselves Christians. I am of Christ, in Christ. All right? Uh, bone of his bones, flesh of his flesh. I'm a Christian. I am not a Jew. Now, there's some promises there for, through the spirit of adoption. Sure, absolutely. Praise the Lord for that. But I'm not a Jew. Okay? Uh, my ancestors are not Jewish, uh, they are European. And if my ancestors were, well, the Europeans are the true Jews, okay, then they would be in Israel because God brings them back in the end times. All right, I have no connection to the land of Israel. I have no desire to go to the land of Israel. Um, I mean, it's definitely way down on my list. I don't need to go over there and see things. I have my Bible, my King James Bible, that's all I need. Well, you're you're wrong, and what you can disagree with me. That's fine, but I can disagree with you too. Um, but what we're going to see going forward with the nation of Israel, right now, in their mind, in their pride, they're thinking to themselves, we are going to bring about this kingdom that will bring in the Messiah. Again, because there's different debates within the different rabbinical traditions and whatever else. Some Jews believe that that the Messiah will come and bring the kingdom. Other Jews believe that they will bring the kingdom and then the Messiah will show up to rule the kingdom. Uh, either way, they're doing it without Jesus. They're doing, with, doing it without the real Messiah. They're just saying, we're just going to do this thing. And that's a shame. And see, to them, if they, in, in their mind, they think we are superior to the other people out there, then it's not really an act of terror for us to do this thing. It's not really some great evil for us to blow up pagers on people when they're out in the civilian populace and the guys at a grocery store and other guys at a desk and there's women working right there on a computer and the thing, boom, blows up. You can see the videos, not on YouTube because they censor everything. You know, they put Hollywood movies where people are being shot and blown up in nudity and profanity and everything else, but reality, oh, we can't show that. I'm sorry, no, not on this platform. <laughs> Hypocrites. God's going to judge you. For that by the way too you people at youtube i mean thank you for allowing me to be here and preach the word and everything i appreciate that but the hypocrisy very sad very sad indeed but um the jews at the time of jacob's trouble is where they're headed god's wrath is coming upon them because they've rejected him if you don't have the son then you don't have the father uh, they are the same being they are not three separate persons like the Trinitarian doctrine teaches, which is a Masonic doctrine, by the way. There's lots of order of Trinitarians out there. Uh, Masonic Lodge, the Trinity Lodge and whatever else. You can look that up as well. So I uh, just wanted to put a video together on this issue. Um, just unreal seeing what Israel will go to and how that they're going to stink in the nostrils of the different nations out there. I mean, I try to defend the Jewish people and you know, whatever else, but come on, what were you thinking? <laughs> you know, let, yeah, let's just, let's blow up uh, people's pagers by hacking into it or doing whatever, and um, you'll just blow them up. That's a good idea. That's going to make us popular with the other nations out there. Oh, don't worry, though, you know, Hashem, he'll, he'll protect us. Hashem will provide. Oh, the name? <laughs> Your God is called the name? That's a little weird especially when he names himself in the Bible. His name in the Old Testament is Jehovah, in the New Testament it's Jesus. Greatest Bible that ever showed up on the earth, King James Bible. 
Uh, I don't care about your opinions on that one either because I'm right and you're wrong if you disagree. It is the greatest Bible, scientifically verified and proven fact. So uh, that's going to be it. I don't need to keep ranting about this, but uh, you're going to see more people turning against the nation of Israel. And um, I can't defend what they're doing. Okay, The thing in Gaza, uh, yeah, it's their land, but they're not going about getting it the right way. Like I said, native people come here and say, we want our land back. Okay, then let's talk about it. Give me a good price and whatever else. I'm going to be respectful. I'll leave. All right. Um, you don't just come and, you know, find a pretext for war and then just, you know, go in and slaughter people and whatever else. Uh, that's not the right way to do it. They're not uh, relying on the Lord to fight their battles because the Lord's not on their side right now. Uh, they put Jesus Christ to death, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets. They please not God, and they're contrary to all men. Um, you want that said about you? I don't think so. I don't want it said about me. Um, so that will be it. As always, as I always like to say, because I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for watching.